then and now. How parts of Chislehurst have changed in the 41 years up to 2023. In 1982, I was very concerned about the number of old buildings disappearing in Kent. So I photographed quite a few places, including parts of Chislehurst, to create a record. I've gone back in 2023 to see what has changed. In this video, we look at the railway station and surround, Camden Place, now the home of Chislehurst Golf Club, and the Prince Imperial Monument on Chislehurst Common. I have made another video on parts of Chislehurst Common, including the Tiger's Head, the Crown Inn and the Bull's Head, along with the Cockpit, and we'll do another one on St Nicholas's Church and School, Cooper's and St Mary's Church. I will try and highlight the changes and provide some history on each of the buildings. Make sure you stay to the end to see what has changed and also what has not. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe to get updates as I release them. Brought to you by Eclectic Experience. Change seen through images. To provide context, here is the London Borough Bromley map of conservation areas and listed buildings, focusing on the parts of Chislehurst we are covering. Everything we are covering is in the Chislehurst conservation area, as marked with the red outline on the map. We are looking at the railway station, Camden Place, where Chislehurst Golf Club is based, and the Prince Imperial Memorial. We'll also mention the Bickley Arms Pub, Chislehurst Caves, the Imperial Arms Pub, the Ramblers Rest Pub, and the War Memorial. Let's start with the railway station. It is actually a locally listed building. The station was opened in 1868. In terms of the buildings, there were originally some on both sides of the station, but all that remain now are the ones on the down line. Here is a picture from 1982, and here is one from 2023, taken from approximately the same angle. The building is certainly pretty much the same, but let's look in more detail. Starting in 1982, it looks like the chimneys, brickwork, windows and canopy are all the same, but have been cleaned and painted by 2023. The cleaned walls really highlights the different coloured materials that were originally used and these can hardly be seen back in 1982. Other changes in 2023 are there are now bollards along the pavement and the street light post has either been replaced or painted silver. There is now a Chislehurst station sign and CCTV cameras that were not there in 1982. Also, the side door has been blocked up. Interestingly, the cobbled area of the road has survived, though the cars have obviously changed as we look in 1982 as well. Other points from the old picture is the poster boards that have now gone and the no parking sign, which I think was temporary because of the pile of sand and the potential building works that were going on. Also, we can see the door that has now been blocked up. The outside does look like it has more detailed brickwork than other local stations, such as Alpington, which might explain why it is locally listed. The station is actually some way from the main Chislehurst High Street, but is very close to Chislehurst Caves. An amazing set of man-made caves that could possibly date back up to 8,000 years. They've seen an incredible amount of different uses, but the one I like the best is my granddad slept down there during the Blitz. And of course to get there, it is necessary to walk past the Bickley Arms, built in 1870, and was actually originally called the Station Master. Continuing to walk up Old Hill, we come to the Imperial Arms, which dates back to 1787. And as an aside, the Rambler's Rest is just round the corner. Unfortunately, I don't have any old pictures of these pubs from the 1980s, but I have been in them all and it is great to see that they have survived when so many others have not. Walking up the hill, at the top, on the left, we come to Chislehurst Golf Club, which is situated in Camden Place. This building has a Grade 2 star listing, according to the Historic England website. It was first listed in 1954 with the first building being on the site in 1609. There were various changes over the years and it was mainly rebuilt in 1860 and this is largely what we see today. This is the building in 2023 
followed by 1982. A particular note was that in 1870, Napoleon III leased the building, along with his wife and son, the Prince Imperial. Their presence in Chislehurst eventually led to this memorial on the common, but we will come back to this. Firstly, who was Napoleon III? Well, he was the famous Napoleon Bonaparte's nephew. He was the first elected president of France between 1848 and 1852, but then seized power and proclaimed himself Emperor of the French. He remained in power until he was captured following the defeat in battle against Prussia in 1870. He was the last French monarch. Following the defeat, he came to Chislehurst. It appears he had a long-term friend who offered the family the lease on Camden Place, which is why they ended up in Chislehurst. He actually died a couple of years later in 1873 and had his funeral in St Mary's on Hawkwood Lane. On the building's front, I can't notice any real change for Camden Place between 1982 and 2023, which actually should be the case for a Grade 2 style building. When I first saw this monument, I wondered why Chislehurst had two war memorials. I knew about the one at the main road junction, which has a grade two listing, but then wondered why there was a second. Then I got a closer look and found out it was a memorial to the Prince Imperial. Who was this? And why was there a memorial in Chislehurst? So I took a couple of photos in 1982 and have now come back to look at this listed structure in 2023. I did not expect the monument to have changed, but even the hedging seems the same as 41 years ago. What has changed is that there are now information boards up by Chislehurst Commons, usefully explaining who the Prince Imperial was. He was the son of Napoleon III and Empress Eugenie. He died at the young age of 23 while serving with the British forces in Africa in 1879. His funeral was again held in St Mary's and was attended by tens of thousands, most of whom would not have been able to get into the small church. The Prince Imperial was very popular in Chislehurst, where the locals raised the funds for this monument. His family were close to Queen Victoria, who was a regular visitor at Camden Place and also attended both funerals of father and son in the same small church. As a postscript, the Empress Eugenie left Chislehurst in 1881 after 11 years and had the bodies of her husband and son moved in 1887 to a purpose-built mausoleum in Hampshire. And that is why there is a listed stone runic cross erected in 1880 by the citizens of Chislehurst. As an aside, the road the memorial is on is called the Prince Imperial Road, not surprisingly. On one side, the sign is in white, and on the other, green. The reason for this is a long time ago, the London Borough of Bromley decided to move to road signs with a green background instead of white. So, as they needed replacing, they were changed. I can only assume the green one was replaced when it was involved in some kind of accident, and the white one has survived a long time. This really is an eclectic mix. The railway made Chislehurst and Camden Place accessible. The railway buildings, although they have seen the most change, it is minor. And now they've been cleaned, you can really see the quality of the brickwork. Camden Place and the Prince Imperial Memorial have really not noticeably changed. But it is now possible for a passerby to understand why on earth the memorial is there from the notice boards. It has also been really good to see that the pubs I remember have all survived. There has been some change, but really hardly any. If you enjoyed this video, there are links at the end to other then and now videos I've made. I'll be making more similar videos, so please subscribe to the channel, click the alerts bell and add comments, especially with any additional information. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience, change seen through images.